Welcome to episode 6 of this AI only battle tournament for Rome Total to War. So, yes, uh, a few days ago we had um, a semi final battle uh, between, of course, Parthia and the Julii. Um, of course, if you want to go see that, I'm going to spoil it in a few seconds, so, you know, go back and watch that if you don't want it spoiled. But, of course, the winner was. Parthia. Well done to Parthia there for knocking the Julii out of a tournament and making it into the final. But which faction is going to meet them in that final? Well, today we're going to decide that. Is it done with Gaul or Egypt? A lot of votes are going for Egypt right now, but you know, we shouldn't rule Gaul out. I, can, I think they've definitely got the potential. So uh, let's uh, choose the armies uh, chosen by the AI. So of course, Gaul as expected. Uh, Gone for quite a few druids, uh, some cavalry as well. Actually, that's a lot of cavalry. Um, archers and, you know, the usual stuff. A lot of druids and a lot of cavalry. Okay, whatever goal, do whatever you want. And the Egyptians are going for, of course, ooh, a lot of chariots. Some mostly missile chariots, but we got uh, two catapult units and some archers and, yeah, a few peasants as well in there. Which faction is going to win? Let's find out. And so it begins. Gaul, to get here, had to knock out, um, who did Gaul knock out? Pontus. And Egypt, to get here, had to knock out Scythia. Now, they go up against each other. Only one will make it to the final, the other will be annihilated. Single elimination, best of one. So it begins. So these Egyptian phalanxes here, they should do uh, a lot of good work against uh, these Gallic troops. Yeah, here we're going. But which one do you think uh, will be? A, if en do you think any of these could beat Parthia? That's another interesting question we'll think about at the end. Because uh, you know, if it doesn't really matter who makes it through here if they're both not going to be a bit, bit yeah, sorry, uh, be able to beat Parthia. So Egypt, I like what we're doing here. They're going on a very long flank with uh, some missile chariot units here, going all the way around. Right, Gaul, you need to really use your cavalry here, and be, care be careful of these chariots. These chariots can do a lot of damage. Oh, there we go, already going in. Uh, almost wiped a squad of Gaulic swordsmen, but it looks like they're getting hit. Yep, they're going down, they're going down. And yes, well done to the Gauls for sorting out that situation. The Gauls charging against the peasants with a cavalry. Looks like they're charging for... Ooh, they're charging for the chariots over here, missile chariots. And they're just going to cut through the chariots as well. Uh, more cavalry coming in. But we've got to be careful. Oh, Egypt's broke. Egypt has broken on this entire flank. Oh, that's... That's good. That, uh, for Gaul, anyway. Gaul charges in with the swordsmen. The phalanx is pulling back. Oh, that's the wrong way. You don't want to be aiming that way. Okay, the Druids are charging, oh, but they're getting Egypt in the flank over here, I think Egypt is going to break. Completely surrounded almost, I've got the Phalanx coming into the back to help them out, but they're broken. Oh, Egypt, let's just pause the battle for a bit, so the catapults are firing in. Uh, Gaul completely destroyed them on this flank, and if I'm being honest, I thought Egypt was going to walk through Gaul, but that's not what it's looking at uh, like right now. Of course, Egypt still has a pot potential to bring it back, and especially if they bring... Um, some unit, I don't know, something that kills the general, uh, then, you know, that's a big boost onto their name, but for now, it's not looking good. They've completely collapsed on this side due to the um, overwhelming amounts of cavalry brought by Gaul. And, yeah, but, oh, it's actually Gaul that collapsed on this side, my bad. Uh, the chariots charged in. Uh, so, Egypt have won on this front, but they've lost on this front, and now it's going to be decided in the middle. So, it's not too bad. I thought they lost on this side as well. Uh, I was going to say that would be just completely it for them. Um, Archer fire getting into this phalanx. This phalanx is one of Egypt's most powerful units right now, and they're just using it, looking at the back, being shot by archers, and then it gets caught on the flank. And I thought we'd have charge some cavalry, in, but it's not looking good for this phalan phalanx here. Okay, Gaul, they're broken. Right, that's good for Egypt for bringing the cavalry around, trying to get another charge in. Looks like, yes, uh, Gaul uh, silenced the catapults, so that's not going to be a problem for them anymore. But Egypt is returning, the chariots are coming back. And Gaul, ooh, this is a this is a mass route for Gaul. Loads of troops, about 300 troops just broke right there, um, and they've been chased down by chariots. So, as I said, it's definitely not over. Definitely not over. 
Right, this one Egyptian guy somehow holding out against all these Gauls. <laughs> and Gaul breaks for chasing the cavalry, but it's too late, and this cavalry now is probably going to get... Yes, the cavalry is getting torn to pieces. Right, right they're starting to get a few more kills now. More cavalry charges into the back of the phalanx, but they'll lose most of the cavalry on that charge. Okay, they broke the Egyptians there. They're merely trying to bring down this phalanx. Egypt just breaks, one cavalry charge and Egypt breaks, they're bringing in their camels to try and save the day, but, you know, this this is a lot of troops lost for them. Right, Gaul pull back, uh, very strategic move by Gaul there, just get the cavalry out of there, uh, too much risk, and Egypt has broken over here as well, so we have a big blob of troops for Gaul just here, and we've got some cavalry flying around as well. But Egypt come in with the chariots, get, they hit the Gaulic cavalry, and Gaul breaks. Still very even, uh, the difference is that Gaul is in a bit of a blob and Egypt is a little bit all over the place, but um, in terms of numbers I think this is an even fight right now. It's it's still anyone's. The chariots are charging in. I'm going to probably destroy these swordsman units eventually. Yeah, just cutting them down. I love chariots. Well, I, I like seeing... I don't like playing against chariots as you can see in my building raw many day series, but... Um, I like watching them destroy other people, that's fun. <laughs> Gaul trying to do everything they can about these chariots here. It's done be these chariots, I don't to decide. If it wasn't for these chariots right now, it would be a clear win for Gaul, but the fact that these chariots are here is what gives Egypt that little bit of hope, and it seems like they have sorted out the problem, but they lost a lot of swordsmen trying to do that. Missile fire coming in. They have managed to break the peasants, but the missile fire that's getting a few kills on Gaul. Uh, they're chasing after them over here, trying to get some more extra kills, but we just get peppered by arrows and just dropping. You can see them just slowly dying. Fighting from range is definitely Egypt's advantage right now. Whereas Gaul, they don't, they don't have a single range unit alive, I don't think. So they've got to fight entirely in melee. Right, they're chasing after the cavalry. Uh, missile cavalry, these are going to get destroyed eventually by just arrow fire. The armor might keep them alive for a little while but you know if if, if Egypt is smart that is, if they charge in and use them as melee then a uh, different story but yeah and it depends how much ammo they've got left as well. Ooh Egypt has broken all the way over here and over here as well. Uh, Gaul still have their cavalry over here, I think that's their general unit. Where's Egypt's general? Is it this is it this unit here? I don't know, I've got a feeling this is their general. Somewhere in there. Gaul trying to take out the cavalry, what's happening over here? So yeah, Egypt Egypt still do have some cavalry units over here, but this is not where you want them chasing down enemies, like there's no point in that Egypt. You need them on the front. Right, it's just loads of white flags by Egypt and then, you know, the green flags, well they're, well they kind of are uh, retreating in some places but they're holding for the most part. Um, I think it's definitely in Gaul's favour now again, um, but of course they're fighting missile cavalry so, and they don't really have anything to deal with missile cavalry so it's just a matter of time, I think, for Gaul. Yeah, Egypt, they've just got to play it slowly. It's all about the time right now. Play it slowly, get a few shots in, make every charge count, and they can still do it. Um, because they do have missile cavalry units, but whether I think the AI is smart enough? Nah, I don't think they are. Okay, they've managed to break one Gaulic unit here. I'm going to cut them down with the chariot. Okay, so that's, that's one down. Another four to go or something. They've still got the potential, they're going for this unit now, the druids, and they've broken the druids. Egypt, they can still do this. They can still do it. What is happening over here? It looks like Gaul returned with, yes, uh, Gaul returned with some cavalry units. They're charging in for uh, the chariots, but they're just pulling away. You know, I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Right, they should be able to catch them here. No, they got away. <laughs> right, let's just take a quick look and see what's happening over here. So, 
yeah, Egypt's just moving around very slowly, getting a few ammo fires in. There's not really much to say right now, it's just uh, waiting for the units to catch each other and oh, Gaul retreated. And of course, Egypt, they've still got their chariots alive over here and some more cavalry as well. And Gaul, they can't do anything. Gaul cannot do anything against these missile cavalry units right now. Oh, that's, it's so disappointing to see Gaul could actually lose because they just don't have any fast units. And Egypt, they've got missile units left on cavalry, so... Oh, it's not, it's not looking good for Gaul. Not looking good. Right, they're charging in the cavalry and I believe this is the general. Oh, but he's going for the chariots on the way over there. Just go for these, no. Oh, God, they're just losing one unit at a time. One soldier at a time drop into this ammo fire. Right, we might be able to charge the chariots. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe. Depends who's gonna break first. And Gaul broke first. Oh, Gaul did more damage on the charge, but um, eventually they just broke and lost a few more units. So, bye bye, Gaul. Oh, and there goes the general. I think Egypt's actually done it. What do Gaul have left? Right, they've got one. They've got a swordsman unit all, all the way over here. And they've got three squads over here, whereas Egypt. They've got two chariot units and two cavalry, well, one horse unit and one camel unit. Yeah, rip Gaul. Really not looking good. What can Gaul do in this situation? Infantry? <laughs> they don't have any cavalry though. What, what can they possibly do? And that's why I think Egypt had done a win. They just don't have anything to fight it. And in come Egypt. They don't to start firing at those. Yep, Gaul breaks instantly there. And then they're charging a bit more. And then Gaul's done a break again. Because they can't do anything and it's just... Oh, they're actually charging into the back. Ah, oh, I was going to say, Gaul might have a little bit of hope. If Egypt runs out of ammunition, then they're done be fighting in melee. And that might be their only hope, but... Nah. That is it. I can't see Gaul with any more troops. Time to retreat. And... Is right. I believe so. I believe that's it. Right, I think the, the, all right, these goals here return to the battle just in time, but I can't see it happening. Goal, you fought so well in this. I really wanted to see you do it as well because no one else believed you could. Oh, we've got some more troops over here. Alright, but I still think it's over, so I'm done to do my outro anyway. <laughs> I believed in you so much, Goal. And you lost just because they had missile cavalry units. I can't see them bringing this back. If they do, though, it'll, it'll be good. Now they're broken here. And then it's just these left. So it looks like Gaul is going to get eliminated. And Egypt is going to move through into the final to fight Parthia. When this started, uh, there was eight factions, Julii, Carthage, Greece, Parthia, Pontus, Gaul, Egypt and Scythia. Out of the two that was going to make it into the final, I definitely did not expect Parthia. But I really did not, well, no, I did not expect Parthia. I thought Egypt had a chance, but I was unsure. Um, but either way, if I did not expect these two. I thought Egypt had a chance to be in here, but definitely not Parthia. Well done to Egypt, 895 kills, it, it's so weird because Gaul actually got more kills as well, 1163, but sadly, um, they just, they, they brought less troops and they, they didn't have enough, they, they had enough cavalry, but they used them all at the start and they should have saved some at the end, I think, to deal with the missile units. <sighs> Sorry Gaul, I really thought you were going to do it. I mean, I thought Egypt was done to win. I mean, I thought Gaul was done to win, and then Egypt won. <laughs> it was a roller coaster of a battle, but well done, of course, to Egypt uh, for making it through. So, yeah, one more video left of this tournament. Who is going to win the final? Egypt or Parthia? Only one 
will win. Find out in the next episode, the final. 